what are the other some of the other assets that you think can be successfully privatized? And, and of course, privatization is a difficult subject in a developing country where a lot of employment is generated from the government. So how do you get around that and make a successful case for privatization of these assets? Apart from the economic case, what is the case for the people? Well, you see, first of all, you know, if, if uh, the taxpayers' money, you know, $5 billion is going to subsidize these sort of uh, mostly inefficient organizations, you know, that's that's a loss of the people. Mm. These taxes are coming from the people to start with. I think it's uh, there's a case that, you know, obviously these state-owned enterprises have a lot of employees. So there's a case that you need to be sympathetic to that. You need to come out with good hold, uh, golden handshake programs where they go uh, reasonably happy. Okay, and I would say, you know, even if you just tell let's say one of the one third of the government employees okay just go home we'll, we'll give you pay, a pension we'll give you your salary mm. and when you retire we'll pay you the pension as well don't come to office even then the government can save a lot of money you know money you know the, the transportation yes, you know yes. all those expenses all those perks and all you yes. know and perks and so on yeah. so even if if that and i think a lot of those can uh, those employees can and go to their you know hometowns and do something, allow them to do other businesses, pay them, you know, the salary that they're getting and allow them to do, you know, whatever they can do, you know, open a shop or go teach in a school or whatever and, and let them earn that extra money. Mm. But at least it will take your burden, you know, away. I think one of the ways the government can reduce uh, its debt, government and uh, the state on enterprises, government departments, they have huge chunks of lands, and these then the, this land is worth tens of billions of dollars. Yes. Okay. So I think it is time that the government uh, auction these lands. I think that uh, you know that legacy of giving land away to institutions or government officials uh, has to go away. I think government land should only be auctioned. I think there should be a law that no government land will be given to any institution or any individual, you know, uh, free of cost. So it's free of cost right. or subsidized. Yeah. I mean, government land should only be auctioned. Yes. If you want to reward a government official is doing a good job, you pay do him a good on bonus, performance. Pay him yeah. a good performance yeah. bonus. Hmm. But there's no point in handing government land to, you know, to, to government officials or politicians or, or public hmm. figures whatsoever. Yeah. So I think that has to change. If the government sells uh, uh, its land, uh, not only you know it will help reduce uh, debt, but also this land, you know, the supply of land will increase, and uh, business uh, it will create business opportunities. People will be able to buy land cheap, and do more agriculture, do more of commercial you know stuff mm -hmm. on the land, uh, build more factories because you know land as you know. Is very expensive in yes. Pakistan. It is at a premium. So if mm. if government starts selling land and the supply of land increases, the prices will come down, and that will create a lot of economic activity.